Dish Network, 14 million subs and growing. Showtime Sports, more than just boxing. If I told you Leno leads TV, would you believe me? Plus, the big picture editorial, Tech Talk, and the Monday Funday TV trivia quiz. It's all ahead on today's edition of the TV News. This is the TV News, the industry's only daily video report. Brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative needs, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution. Welcome to the TVnews.tv for Monday, December 14th, and here are today's top stories. Last Friday, we reported that Dish Network was number one in subscriber growth during the third quarter with non-cable TV providers. Now Dish Network has announced that they have surpassed the 14 million subscriber mark. This third quarter alone, Dish acquired nearly a quarter of a million subs, and to date, in the fourth quarter, they've captured another 150,000. Dish's subscriber count now puts it into third place behind DirecTV and Comcast as the leading non-broadcast TV providers. Showtime Sports, synonymous with just boxing, right? Not so fast. This season, Showtime landed the HBO's displaced inside the NFL, and also this fall, Showtime presented the multi-part AFL football documentary, Full Color Football. And beginning this February, Showtime Sports will deliver Inside NASCAR. Showtime has gone on record in saying they're not looking to compete in sports on the big stage, but they are looking to attract young, enthusiastic sports fans with a mix of popular team and individual sports franchises. For more on this story, you can log on to multichannelnews.com. And from the how often do we get to say this department, the Jay Leno Show leads TV. In product placements, that is. According to Time Magazine, The Jay Leno Show is far and away the leader in weaving products into television shows. Now, since September, The Jay Leno Show is reported to have over 1,000 product placements within the show. That's 29% ahead of the also ran in the category, which is WWE Monday Night Raw. Taking the bronze in this area is the biggest loser. And we invite you to check out the other top 10 players in product placements on TV. For more details, you can log on to time.com. The Big Picture is brought to you by Dude Walker. Get the best voice, get the best price. Get Dude at dudewalker.com. On Mondays, we give you the big picture at the tvnews.tv with analysis and commentary. Let's bow our heads for a moment. We're gathered here to lament the final death knell of the once heralded AOL Time Warner merger. It was the major media story at the beginning of the millennium, and now, as we close out the first decade of the new millennium, the final divorce between AOL and Time Warner is another major story. Now, with ailing AOL finally and completely spun off, Time Warner moves on as a pure content company, having also spun off its distribution arm earlier this year. One can't help but think about the immense potential that the AOL Time Warner merger once held and agonize over the unfulfilled promise that this broken partnership leaves behind. We don't think that Nina Monk's Fools Rush In, Steve Case, Jerry Levin, and the unmaking of AOL Time Warner which was first published in 2005, even foresaw such an inauspicious and tragic ending to this media merger fiasco. The dominoes keep on falling regarding Tiger Woods sponsors, and Tiger has now taken an indefinite break from PGA play. Accenture PLC has responded by taking Tiger's image off of their website. More, Gillette has announced that they will be phasing Tiger out of their print and television advertising for an undetermined amount of time. And this brings us to William C. Roden's column in yesterday's New York Times, in which Roden simply and correctly calls Tiger, for Pete's sake, to get out in front of the cameras, make your heartfelt mea culpa, and begin to repair the damage that you've inflicted upon yourself and your brand. Roden again states, and correctly, 
that an apology from Tiger via his website just doesn't cut it. Tiger's brand was created by the media. Tiger's brand has been damaged by the media. And now Tiger's brand needs the media to get back on track. So what's keeping Tiger from getting out in front of electronic media? Well, we at the TV News can only assume that Tiger remains bunkered in because perhaps there are more salacious revelations to be seen and heard, and only time will tell. And finally, we received a pretty funny but pretty painful cartoon from TV industry Photoshop genius Mr. Keith Warhola with his take on ABC's A Charlie Brown Christmas Gate. Thanks, Keith. We feel the same way. But incidentally, ABC will be re-airing a digitally remastered version of A Charlie Brown Christmas tomorrow evening. Still no word yet from ABC on the editing configuration. Let's keep our fingers crossed. This exclusive presentation of the TV News is brought to you by Betsy Powell, freelance creative director, copywriter, and producer. Check out her work at www.betsypowell.com. And now get set for the Monday Funday TV Trivia Quiz. And here's today's question. Now everyone knows that Gene Rayburn was the host of the wild and wacky and crazy match game of the 70s. But who hosted the much more reserved match game from the early mid-60s. The first to email the correct answer to Monday Funday at the TVnews.tv will win a free billboard right here in this slot. Last week's winner was Eric Adler. He's a multiple winner of Eric Adler Research. So be like Eric and win by sending your correct answer to Monday Funday at the TVnews.tv. And now a word from way out there, the Tonight Show of the Paranormal. Elvis has reportedly been found dead in the DCU's car parking lot. Shut up, I think it's a bunch of bull****. Show us the ghost. What's that down there? Why did we notice it now? You're unbelievable. There was a UFO right there. It's coming right, coming right now. We're going to report the sighting we just had. Uh, we have a residue? Yeah. You're unbelievable. No anal probe. What's the point of that? <laughs> Future events and opportunities. Brought to you by Storn Associates. Sports and entertainment marketing specialists. Log on to storeandassociates.com and start connecting with sponsors and consumers. The 2010 NatBe Marketing Conference happens in less than a month and a half. It's happening in Las Vegas. Oh yeah. It's Vegas, baby. To register, log on to natbemarket.com. And have a look at the preliminary schedule for the cable show 2010. It's pretty good stuff. For more information on next May's cable show, you can log on to 2010.thecableshow.com. And that's about it for today's edition of the TV News. We'll be back tomorrow with the only daily video newscast about the TV industry for the TV industry. And that includes Stan Melton Jr.'s uber popular new TV concepts in new media. Until then, you can catch up and keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching. Happy Hanukkah, and go out and make it a good day. The TV News has been brought to you by American Ingenuity TV. For all of your electronic marketing and creative challenges, American Ingenuity TV is simply the solution.